Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we'll have a look at the latest from the live radar from the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. So we are going to see some showers as we head through the next couple of days, but it doesn't look too bad for most, some could be heavy though, especially towards the south coast and further northwards and westwards. Temperatures though are going to remain steady over the next couple of days, low 20s at best, but could climb quite significantly into the weekend and start of next week as it does look like we will be seeing warmer air masses pushing in we could see another spike of heat that we have been talking about over the past few days we're starting to see the models converging on a bit of a spike of heat late on, on in the weekend into the early part of next week temperatures could get up towards the 25 to 30 degree range don't think it's going to get much higher than that Definitely along those sort of lines looking very plausible. And we can see all of that from the longer range charts as well. It does look like generally a warm end to July and start of August. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well. The link is in the description. We have to start on the live radar this evening, calling this around 11pm. There are a few showers still around, but for most, it is a relatively dry evening. Temperatures still around average for the time of year, but you can see it is a little bit cooler than the last couple of evenings. And that is because of those showers pushing in, bringing slightly fresher air or cloud. Uh, it's not allowing those temperatures to rise as much during the day, hence lower overnight temperatures. Now, if you go over to the latest UKV, you can see as we head into Thursday, still going to see showers around. You can see heaviest along the far south coast and then heaviest across western Scotland as well. There could be persistent showers as well. But it doesn't look too bad for most during the middle afternoon. It does turn dry, just a bit more thicker cloud around. As we head into Friday, again, some showers through the evening of Thursday into Friday morning. But actually, for most on Friday, it's a relatively dry start. And you can see that there are plenty of patches of sunshine around in the afternoon but a few heavy showers could be triggered as well into saturday doesn't look too bad again heavy thundery showers around but mostly relatively dry and into sunday is looking really quite nice indeed bone dry but some thicker cloud in the west and then as we head into monday a similar story but a bit more showery conditions towards the far west and north and this is because we see a bit of a ridge of high pressure building in from the southeast with very warm air and that will allow those temperatures to rise quite significantly i must stress into the early part of next week if we look at the upper air temperatures could be getting towards the low teens or even mid teens which could allow the surface temperatures to get up towards 25 to 30 degrees now, if you look at the max temperature, you can see during this afternoon, it got to around 22 to 24. So warm, but nothing exceptional. Same can be said for tomorrow, where again, peak temperatures, 22, 23, but not particularly great. Slightly cooler what we do from the showers. Into Friday, again, it's a similar story. Nothing too amazing, but again, you could see 23, 24 degrees. But into Saturday, temperatures start to rise maybe slightly higher in a few spots, maybe 24, 25. By Sunday, though, more around 25, 26. And into Monday, pushing 27, 28, maybe a 29 or even a 30 degree and you can just see that slow progression towards very warm conditions jumping up by a couple of degrees per day starting on friday so i have to wait and see exactly how it does play out but the latest ukv definitely on board with some much warmer conditions through sunday and monday and likely to carry on for the next few days beyond that as well not likely to carry on at that sort of extremity those sort of high 20s low 30s for longer than that and that is because this does look like it is a burst of heat uh, and less sort of big pattern change but nonetheless it will still remain warm after this period or at least that's what the longer range charts look like at the moment now if you go over to those long range charts starting the latest gfs again you can see low pressure pushing in at the moment that's giving slightly fresher conditions and showery conditions over the next couple of days but then we see that brief ridge of high pressure move in for sunday and in for monday and you can see it's got warm air starting to push up from the south with it and you can see it could go very warm for a time through the last couple of days of july but into early august we do see some slightly fresher conditions moving in but probably after about four or five days of pretty warm and dry conditions and then it does go slightly fresher but still threatening with those little southerly bursts which could 
continue to give those very warm conditions at times. So I must stress, though, they would be bursts because it is a westerly prevailing wind. That means that weather fronts, fresh conditions, showers will inevitably push in from the west. Now, if you have a look at the latest GM, see how that does compare. Again, low pressure trying to push in from the west, high pressure nudging into the southeast through the end of the weekend into the start of next week, turning it warmer for a time. And then again, you can see that prevailing westerly wind pushing in, but generally still looking very warm into the start of next week and all the way to day 10, where we continue to see the upper air temperatures into the double digits, if not getting up towards the mid-teens, which again would equate to around the mid to high 20s or even low 30s. Finally, if we compare it to the latest ECM WF, again, we see that low pressure in at the moment high pressure pushes in for early next week and it starts to dominate till day 10 unfortunately again some slightly lower pressure trying to push in from the west but for most it is warm and dry up until about day seven very warm at times maybe 15 plus degree eyes of firm nudging in for it does as i said inevitably turn slightly fresher as we head into the latter part of next week now we can see this all on the latest ensembles, uh, if we do go to the image view, you can see generally slightly above average at the moment, but dropping slightly below average over the next couple of days, and that's why it's going to drop down to high teens, low 20s, but towards the second half of the weekend into early next week, you see those temperatures go a good few degrees above average, and there's a significant number now going quite a bit more than average, about 5 to 8 degrees above average, which does look very warm indeed, those temperatures, as I said, would be high 20s, or low 30s, and you see it does persist for a good four or five days before slowly dropping back towards average. Still very up and down, and you can see precipitation does increase slightly into early August, but generally it doesn't look too bad at all. We'll have to wait and see exactly how it does play out, but for the time being it does look like a positive trend for proper summary conditions to arrive once again next week. If we have a look at the latest ECM WF, again, drop in temperatures over the next couple of days it will be felt slightly at the surface but not massively and then as we head into early next week again that spike in upper temperatures many getting towards the mid to high teens most though into the low teens and then slowly petering out back towards average but still staying relatively warm all the way throughout the rest of this run a bit more precipitation i must stress for early august uh, which isn't great but again with the number of ensembles here it's inevitable that some of them are going to keep some sort of low pressure round and hopefully it does remain fairly dry for those warmer patches but nonetheless it does look very warm over the next few days or sorry a little bit cooler the next couple of days but beyond that the days after that looks very warm and it does look particularly dry in places as well especially the southeast corner so yeah could be seeing some very pleasant conditions indeed have to stay tuned though to just pinpoint no details it it's still slightly too far out to say with any certainty exactly what those temperatures will be but one thing we can say is it is looking warm if not very warm into next week so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribing new and i'll see you again for another video soon